Welcome to the place. Let's just take a moment to again recognize the irony of what's going on here in atheist culture right now. A trend that's happening on YouTube, atheists across the world, especially in the United States, typing in atheists sort by new, and they keep getting new videos from this guy who's not an atheist, who's actually a Christian, who is fundamentally not interested in debating or arguing with atheists on the existence of God. Now, it'd be one thing if no one was watching these videos. It would be one thing if, after an atheist watched my video, never watch me again. But I've already received confirmation from the atheist community, is what I'm gonna call it, the unconnected atheist community, that while they're not subscribing to the channel, they are still typing an atheist search by new, or just coming to my channel to see what new stuff I did with the word atheist in it. In, in, in other words, for some reason, atheists are not able to resist the new videos coming out. And I think there's a reason for that. I think there's something refreshing, though quite curious about this relationship. A Christian who has no interest in proving an atheist wrong on the existence of God. No interest in debating. Here's what I want to address here. You know me. I, I look through all the comments and often those inspire uh, new videos. And this is something I feel, and, and, and you can be the judge of this, but I feel that in general, a lot of the atheists viewing my videos, when you look at the comments, and you can feel free to go back and look at the videos and, and see for yourself, and you be the judge, I feel that in those comments left by so many of the viewers that are atheists on these videos, even though I'm not trying to prove them wrong in, in, on theology and I'm not trying to debate, I'm not trying to argue, I'm not trying to prove that they're an idiot or even immoral, but there's still what I perceive as anger, resentment, bitterness. It's as if I'm automatically casting myself as a villain, the bad guy, simply because I'm claiming that I am a Christian and that I'm speaking, and therefore, automatically, I'm perceived as some sort of, some sort of enemy, some sort of villain. Now, that's fine, I'm totally okay with that. My feelings aren't hurt, I'm not disrespected, because I do not give that power to anyone else. That's not, I don't give that power away to other people. I claim that power for myself. If, if I'm gonna be disrespected or hurt feelings or anything like that, insulted, that would have to be my choice, and it's, never a choice that I make to give that power away. But what I'm saying is, as I look through that negative energy coming in, here's how I interpret it. We have some hurt people watching my videos and the people that hurt them were Christians. Something I know, it is a generalization, but it appears to be true, that the majority of atheists in the United States were once Christians. They probably grew up going to church. They may have spent a decade or two, maybe more, as a Christian. And then they walked away from the faith. And what I'm seeing here is, it's often because someone mistreated them. It's often because someone abused them. And I don't simply mean, oh, they abused them because they kept feeding them lies about fairy tales. No, no, no. I mean, beyond theology, the person was hurt. Now here's what I'm saying to you, and I know this sounds like Pascal's wager, and it's probably some form of it, you know, but what I'm gonna say is this. For me, I am not a person who has enemies for on my end. There's no person that I can think of that I think I hate that person. I don't like that person. I want bad things to happen to that person. There's never a person I can think of where I just get angry and I tense up and I'm ready to start arguing and shouting and pointing and cursing at that person. There's not anybody like that. There's no one in my life that I need to forgive that I have not forgiven. There's, there's no, that's not part of me. What you don't see in, with me is anger towards other people resentment towards other people. So here's what I'm saying in this different version of Pascal's Wager. Let's assume that atheists are right. There's absolutely, that Christians are wrong. 
God does not exist. Years from now, we're all dead. Because that's going to happen. Years from now, we'll all be dead. And at the end of it, let's assume atheists were right. Christianity was all a fairy tale. My consciousness ceases to exist. As my life was looked back on, assuming that consciousness does not exist, again, atheists are right. As people look back on my life, what they can say is, well, ultimately, he seemed to be at peace. He was not an angry person. He did not have bitterness or resentment issues or forgiveness issues or anger issues. He was at peace. He was a peaceful guy. What I'm saying is, even if Christianity was not real, I would still choose this mindset and this lifestyle and this belief system if I knew that I got to be a person who has internal peace. What I perceive in general about many atheists that watch my channel and leave comments is that they're still hurt. And I'm not saying this to put the sword in your side and do like this. I'm saying, no, 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 let's unpack this. Let's unpack this truth of what's happened. Christians hurt you. There are people you need to forgive. And the lack of being able to forgive them is hurting you because that's what happens. Anger, trying to insult people just because they're in a different group of than you, like, oh, he's in, he's a Christian. I automatically don't like him, and I'm automatically going to start typing anger <laughs> to him. What I'm saying to you is, that doesn't seem like a peaceful, good way to live. To live in bitterness, for there to be anyone that you have yet to forgive. That's what I perceive. See, there's this stereotype about atheists that they're angry, that they're that they have a high conflict personality. And I think, and, and notice that I'm, I feel that to some degree I'm taking responsibility as I'm saying this. I think it's largely because they were hurt by Christians. They were abused by Christians. So here's what I'm gonna say. I am sorry that that happened to you. I'm sorry that they did that to you. And I think the next step is for you to choose to forgive them for that. I'm not asking you to convert to Christianity. I'm asking you to forgive them because forgiveness is not exclusively a Christian concept. But you've heard this before. You've heard how when there's someone to forgive and instead you curse them in your heart, that you wish bad things about them, that you have negative thoughts anytime you even think about them, and ultimately you really, if you could, you wish they were dead or you wish that they bad things that happen. When that happens, that is, you've heard this before. This is, not, you, this is not the first time you've heard this. It's like when there's someone to forgive and you don't forgive them, it's like you drink the poison hoping that they die, maybe a slow, painful death, but in reality, it's you that's drinking that poison and feeling the, the toxic effect of that. Here's what I'm saying. Can we agree? Can we agree that if a person has a high conflict personality where they're always trying to argue and debate and prove people wrong and they noticeably have some kind of backstory where a Christian hurt them, where Christians in general have hurt them or their specific group of people, they're hurt by people and they haven't forgiven that group of people and instead they demonize that group of people. Can we admit that even if Christian Christianity is all made up to begin with as Christians, as that's the way atheists perceive it. Can we say this? When it's all said and done, it's better to live a life in which you have no one left to forgive because you've already forgiven them. The way I live my life, be ready to instantly forgive anyone for anything because in the history of the world, people have forgiven other people for worser things that were done than the things that were done to us. And they were able to forgive whether they were Christian or not. Forgiveness is very important, but I think so many atheists are still hurt and they're not addressing the actual issue. 
when I see anger, when I see such angry words being said in an attempt to hurt me, which they don't because I don't give you that power. You cannot insult me. I do not allow you to internally. And what happens is that becomes a reflection of a hurt person. Hurt people hurt people. So some Christian down the line, they were a hurt person. They were a broken person. They hurt you and they help to put a crack in you and help break you. And now you want to bring that here. What I'm saying is, am I wrong here? Am I wrong that this stereotype exists for a reason? That so many American atheists were hurt by Christians and they're still hurt and they still haven't forgiven the Christian. So therefore they demonize all the Christians, including this guy right here. Now, am I the victim? Of course not, because I already said I do not allow people to negatively affect me. I'm not disrespected, hurt feelings, anything like that. But I recognize the attempt. And behind the attempt, I see the motive. Can we be honest about this stereotype? Most American atheists are former Christians who were hurt by Christians, and they've yet to forgive those Christians who hurt them. Therefore, there is anger, there is resentment, there is bitterness towards Christians in general. And it only hurts that much more when Christians try to prove those atheists wrong by debating about God being real or not. Your thoughts, your reaction belongs right here in the comments.